I'm not sure why I'm feeling compelled to make this video and there's no script, no writing. I'm just speaking from the heart. You can see I'm in my work clothes at the moment. But I wanted to introduce myself to a lot of the new subscribers on the channel and refresh some information to you all who have been following for quite some time. My name is Nick. I'm Vanderhorst. I started my YouTube channel back in 2008 when I was first playing in um, a melodic death metal band called Kill the Host. I've been a drummer since I was four years old and the primary focus of my channel has always been drumming and music content and I absolutely love playing music so much so in fact that about five years ago three to five years ago I started to learn the piano and then I started to learn the guitar because I wanted to finish what I started writing an album from my other band Kill the Host we got one song recorded and published and then the band just kind of ended up dissolving which it's nobody's fault we all grew up and of the 12 years that we spent touring and playing and it was the best time of my life honestly and fast forward to sometime around 2018 it was november the 28th my mom passed away 2018 and uh she was my number one cheerleader and i'll never forget her and i try to do right by the things that she taught me in life and i try to be a good person it gets very hard because there are a lot of people out there who will take advantage of your good nature because they know that they can get something of value out of you for free so my advice is you know know your worth and don't ever charge less than your worth <laughs> but 2018 in november she passed and um it was weird too because it was like at, at Sunday at like 10 or 11 o'clock, I had talked to her, and then Tuesday morning on November the 28th at 11.28 in the morning, so 11.28, 11.28, she passed away. It was a very strange time because the next like year and a half just blew by. Well, 2019 rolls around, and the day, the one-year anniversary of my mom's passing, my ex fiance at the time left me on that day and you know we're all humans at the end of the day we all deserve happiness um <clears throat> and i remember at that time i was living with a friend of mine for about two months while his now wife is pregnant and um i was just trying to make do and utilize my programming degree and just kind of put myself out there into the world and i remember that was November the 28th. By December 5th, I was back at my dad's house. And I remember committing myself to getting my YouTube off the ground. I think at that time I had probably 50, 60 subscribers. And I remember December 5th, 2019, I made my first video. And my channel started based on my cognitive behavioral therapy lessons and wanting to help people realize their full potential and I remember making a documentary series called Reality Decoded. It was really good for me to start that way. I believe I made like 59 or 64 episodes of that and they were very well edited, very well, I learned about pacing, it taught me about audio engineering. It taught me about the different types of microphones and cameras and just everything you need to know to be an expert content creator for YouTube specifically because, you know, you all have great taste and you have high expectations, but you all also, people don't talk about how you, the audience, have extreme kindness, extreme generosity. So from December 2019 until April of 2020 is how long it took for me to get my first like a thousand twelve hundred subscribers and I got monetized I remember this I remember the day it happened it was April the 21st 2020 simultaneously I had gotten monetized on my twitch and on my YouTube pretty much at the same time and I started to earn a little bit of passive income it's enough these days, I only earn enough from my YouTube to, pro to 
realistically like pay my water bill, which is like $45 a month. However, as a person who has a tremendous amount of ambition and persistence and determination, I have spent the next five, four years now focusing because I started in 2019. Yeah, this is my fifth year of serious content creation for YouTube and Twitch. Uh, I, sp I devoted myself to learning audio engineering to the maximum. You know, they say the the graph of expertise, it's like you go to the top of Mount Stupid and then you go to the Valley of Ignorance and then you have the climb of excellency. Well, truly I feel that I am nearing the upper part <clears throat> of the climb of excellency, which uh, is dictated by the ability to start earning um, income from your applied skill. Uh, it was also around, I want to say April of 2020, maybe May of 2020, I got asked by you all to start doing musical react videos because I had uh, 12 years of onstage experience and 30 years of music experience. I had a lot of knowledge and wisdom to share with you all about <clears throat> musical performances from a perspective of somebody who's been there and who could explain stuff, especially the drumming, like rudiments and all that kind of stuff. And I tell you, it has been the most fun ever getting to make these reaction videos because I've always been a bit of a, confession, I've always been a bit of a musical elitist going, that's not metal, that's not metal. And now my ears and eyes are opened. I've always loved classical music and I like a lot of old school country and definitely love my rock and my metal. I, I was born in 1989 and I grew up during the time that you could still appreciate the late 60s, early 70s and 80s music, you know. Hell, that's what I started playing drums with was, uh, that's, that's what taught me how to count in music and how to play in time and how to actually be a good musician, let alone a drummer and songwriter and composer and all that stuff. Well, this video primarily is, like I said, a refresher for those of you who have followed me for a long time, who I am, what I'm doing, uh, and, and, and an introduction for the new people who have joined the channel because, you know, lately we've seen a rise in our subscribers since I've been able to start posting again. Um, and the reason for that is two years ago, this is, this is my official video I'm going to explain to you all why I had to go on like a two year hiatus. <sighs> okay, so November 4th of December, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. This is unedited, so bear with me here. If you've made it this far in the video, you're a champ, I love you. November of 2021, I was living with my dad. I had been back for two years and Tensions have been high between me and my dad and my sister and I for a long time at this point, and we were just living in disarray. If you go back on my channel around that time period, you will see I was a lot skinnier. I was at least 65 pounds skinnier than I am right now. I'm right at 200, and back then I was maybe 135. It was unhealthy. Um, no, I was not on drugs. I Poverty. Okay, it was extreme, extreme poverty. When my mom passed, my dad slipped into an incredibly deep depression and I had to step up to the plate to take care of the house, pay the bills, and 100%, actually it was more like 150% of what I was earning at the time, 100% uh, of it was from YouTube and just hustling, went to paying our monthly bills. Now, at this point, my dad owned the house, so it's not like we had a mortgage. However, there was like five or six people living in the house, and I was paying the power, and the power was $585 a month. And then there was water, which we had a well, but there was still a bill. And uh, there was an internet bill and my cell phone bill. And so I fell into extreme poverty, and I was working in between eight, 18 to 20, 22 hours a day. I would take like an hour, two hour naps and then get up and do it all over again. And I, I did this for four years straight, um, making videos, practicing my drums, doing drum live streams. For those of you who were around back then, I remember um, 
I was doing three and four hour drum streams every single day of the week. And I was pushing and pushing and pushing to be, to become successful and just hoping and praying to God that something would pop off and then all of a sudden I would be making enough money from YouTube to, you know, it, I was praying for a miracle, okay? I was praying for a miracle. When now, hindsight is twenty twenty. I realized it wasn't the time for the miracle back then. It was not time for a miracle yet. I had to go through a lot more learning, a lot more growing, changing environments. So November of 2021, there was a house fire. And I made a video about that, as a matter of fact. The actual fire footage of a house you see with the fire trucks is my house that I was living in. And from November 4th until December 6th, we didn't have power. I was living off of a generator that was fueling my computer system and I was still recording videos because I believed and still believe in my ability to earn a living and to do good in this world by helping people by creating content on YouTube and streaming and because this is where my heart is. My heart truly lies in creating content for YouTube and doing these reactions, doing my drum live streams, putting myself out there as an artist. <clears throat> and, you know, I have a dream. I have a dream. And it is my dream that I, through my creative outputs of YouTube, Kick, Twitch, all this stuff, I will be able at TikTok. I will be able to achieve my ability to take care of my now fiance and I and our three little puppies. Uh, I will be able to do that full time through YouTube. And my brother is kind of funny. I love him. I love him very much. But he calls it chasing the dragon, and I just don't see it the same way he does. He's like, man, you really need to apply your skills to the real world and this and that. While he is true about that, I, just, I don't think it's impossible to be able to get YouTube in order to work for you. I think I just haven't found my thing yet that makes people want to watch and come into the streams and hang out and like don't get me wrong you go to a live concert the concert's 45 minutes an hour and a half it's really hard to sit there and listen to drums for four hours but i stream so much and for so long because i am trying to engage and grow the audience as quickly as i can while not doing bodily damage to myself because if you do play music for that long you risk over practicing and it's just not a good idea you have to give your body rest so, November 21, fire. November 4th till December 6th, no power. I taught myself electrical. I rewired three rooms in our house and got them back, had the power company come out and they verified the work. Everything was good, restored power back to the house. Um, things started to look a little bit better Every day, I would work outside for four to eight hours, cleaning everything up, getting rid of the fire damage stuff. Then we started dealing with some troublesome neighbors. Come to find out, my dad lost the house due to a tax lien sale <clears throat> from when he... Because my dad didn't move from a recliner for like four years, starting in 2018 to 2022. Um, he didn't move. He, he literally rotted in a chair in his bathroom downstairs and um it was a shame because he and i did battle a lot but it wasn't me versus him it truly felt like it was me versus his demons if you guys know what i mean by that and he's doing much better now he and i have a great relationship uh, i don't get to see him as often as i want though i will admit that you know and ever since my mom passed away he's the only parent that i got left and I keep telling them all the time. I'm just like, man, we're carbon copies. You're supposed to be my best friend, you know. But that, that time will come. That time will come. So in July of 22, police came into the house. There was about 15 of them. And at the time, it was not a good situation. My dad and myself were arrested for criminal trespass in our own home due to the fact that my dad lost the house. 
whether it was intentional or not intentional due to a tax lien sale to the city and the new owner ordered an investigation in which they came in and it was just not good. I spent eight days in jail and this is actually the first time I'm ever admitting this on camera. Not necessarily that I'm ashamed because I didn't do anything wrong. It was just the wrong place, wrong time. It's kind of like the mama bird thrusting the baby out of the nest. It's time to go. It's time to fly. God said it's your time and it's your time to fly. And when you're sitting there on rock bottom, spending eight days in jail, not seeing the sun for eight days, you have a lot of time to contemplate and think about the choices you've made and, you know, learn from your mistakes, understand the sacrifices you make, and then come to terms with the actual determination and persistence and perseverance it takes to become successful to and not just successful to you all i mean when i being successful in which i feel it in here and i understand it up here so after, for the last two years now july 27th is when i was arrested i've been dealing with probation i have like 200 dollars left on this probation to pay off um i'm hoping that they terminated early through no fault of my own it was wrong place wrong time you know and i just wish that my dad would learn to let it go because i don't hold anything against him like i said it was just wrong place wrong time you know it it was it was an unfortunate circumstance and just like every other experience in my life i tried my best and have made the most of it because since then so i got out it was like august the first August the 3rd, I got back in church, and because while I was in there, I found my faith and saved two people while I was in there. That was really nice. Nobody messed with me, and had some, I had a weird spiritual experience while I was in there. Nobody had any crosswords to say to me while I was in there either. They were very, I don't know, it was almost like I was protected. I remember sleeping uh, at one point because I immediately upon going in there i knew that i had to stop you know and there was nothing wrong with that being a medical patient and immediately i got it in my mind that well i'm going to utilize this time to get my sleep schedule on track and to start working out again and to get my um health in order and you know i i made up my decision like that it was there was no question whatsoever so anyway i got out august 1st August 3rd, I was back in church. August like the 5th or the 7th, um, I decided to get baptized because growing up Episcopal, um, found out that we were anointed and reading the book of John, you come to find out that Jesus was baptized through the immersion of water. And I said, okay, if he did it, I've got to do it too. I've got to do it the right way. So I did it, and I'm glad my, because my life after that took off like a like a rocket ship. It was unbelievable, actually, now that I, it's been some time for me to think about it. And that was two years ago. It's 2024 now. That was 2022. So anyway, and then within a couple of days after that, like the like maybe August the 11th, I started working and got a job as a carpenter's apprentice, worked there for about two months. Then I got my current job working with this company here, and I love this company. But after five months, I went from being an installer to working systems maintenance for power. And although I love my job, it lacks a certain creative output that I desire from my life. And things become repetitious. And as much as I enjoy the money, it's not fulfilling enough for me to decide to put YouTube to the side because YouTube is the only thing that has ever truly satisfied, satisfied, satiated my appetites for creative output. And it's unlike anything I've ever done. It's challenging in its own right because I am my own boss. If, if videos aren't posted, it's because I have failed to be disciplined to post content. So shortly after I got the job with WOW, I started renting a house. I said, okay, 
I can get my stuff together, started making videos again, but it was very sparingly because I just had this internal sense of dread and defeat and I had to get over that. And then last year happens and August of last, excuse me, August of last year, 23, I closed on a mortgage on my house that I currently live at with my fiance, <gasps> excuse me, my fiance and our three dogs and got my studio set up. And you all have seen the drum streams, which are Saturdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm still kind of working out the logistics on like the best times to record, or I'm sorry, record, but um, the best times to stream because I want to put the streams out there in which they are available to our widest audience. I tell you, and this is where we come to the good part of the story because I wanted to tell you all, now that we're 21 minutes into this, if you've made it this far, I owe you a beer. I have such love for all of the people who have come to the channel, who leave comments on the videos, who have welcomed me with open arms since I've started doing reactions. From Yoyaka to Love Bites, Bandmade, to our Norwegian f uh, fans with Angelina Jordan, Aurora, uh, and now Amira Villenhagen uh, from Holland and just everyone that I've done reacts to, uh, even our Indonesian and um, Middle, Eastern, Middle Eastern fans um, with Alit Bata and uh, um, Alfie Rev, you know, with like Wonderland Indonesia and uh, Aman Morissette. Like, I cannot thank you all enough for being as awesome as you are because you read all the time about these people who get hate on YouTube. It's like, neg like negative comments all the time. And then eventually you come to find out that this person who is portraying themselves as one way on the internet is just an absolute trash goblin of a human being. And I'm telling you, it's unbelievable how much this is happening th these days. It's like the hidden is finally coming to light. And um, there was a wonderful saying that I just thought of. Oh, it'll come to me. It doesn't matter uh, about that. Um, but I just really wanted to say thank you to everyone who comes onto my channel and shares the love. You know, my Angelina Angels. And, you know, thank you all for opening my eyes and ears and all, really all five of my senses to all of the possibility and wonder and excitement that the world has to offer. And I really hope to start seeing more and more people coming into the drum live streams because we have the most wonderful community in the world. We're here to talk to each other uh, and help each other out, excite each other, uh, annoy each other. It's, it's magical. It truly is. And plus, it really helps me to come out of my shell. Uh, I started wearing my dinosaur costume on on streams, and I I have the, an idea for a, a whole bunch more of content like that. And plus, you know, me loving to play drums, I always am looking to push myself to do better and become better. And you know, I've been playing for 31 years, and I have a lot to offer. Uh, the hardest part about the drum streams, honestly, has been hearing in the stream what my mind hears my drums should sound like so i've been working the last five years to perfect that and that's why during the streams i put it out there to you all to say you know if there's any improvements that i can make whatsoever the drum audio to the music sync making sure that's in time the levels of everything you know i am not doing this out of um Inept in, ineptitude. I'm doing this because I want to make the best viewing experience possible for you all. That's my goal. So I just really wanted to say from my heart to yours, thank you to everyone who subscribes to the channel, who likes videos, who comments on them, even hell, even the merch clicks. You know, I understand that the four designs, I, I made those designs before I got into graphic imaging. Uh, I'm going to get some new designs mocked up, but you know, every penny that this channel earns goes back into improving the channel. And uh, 
like through YouTube, I've been able to buy myself the set of microphones that I need to keep up my stick endorsement, to buy the symbols, to almost complete my symbols endorsement. I've got two symbols left until I can actually start that. Uh, it goes into, I mean, everything you can think of, the carpet and the padding and the soundproofing for the studio itself, uh, a new CPU for my computer. Uh, and this, is, this has been like five years in the making I've been working on this stuff. And, you know, I don't just sit here and rest on my laurels. I'm constantly working and improving, and my brain is constantly coming up with new ideas of content to post, like this kind of stuff, because I want to get as much content out there for you all. And I love learning each of your names. Uh, that's like my favorite thing, because in a way, the internet has made the world from this big to this big. And I feel like you, like you all who watch my channel are like my next door neighbors. And uh, I just don't ever want to annoy you or like run you off. You know, I, I just felt compelled to make this video and to get it posted and to just tell you all how grateful I am. And I understand that I might like repeat some stuff from time to time. You can thank the traumatic brain injury I had from when I was wrestling in high school <laughs> for that. So you guys are awesome and if they and and I wanted to point this out underneath this video I would like if you have a suggestion for a reaction content style or artist or whatever please leave me a comment down below I am starting to redo the list of the people that I do reactions to and the things that I do reactions to based on what you all want to see and it would be a great help to have it all compiled into one place. So I'm putting that out there. If you have a reaction artist, people, places, things, or ideas, put it underneath this video. If you like me or the channel, like this video. It will help to spread the word to other people who will also like the channel. That way we can keep helping the community grow. I would love to do an unboxing video when we hit that 100,000 subscribers, a million subscribers on YouTube, the silver and the gold play buttons. I don't know, <laughs> golly, hitting the ruby play button would be unreal and it's my dream, but that is a, that is an incredibly ambitious dream. You know, that's the hardest part about dreaming is not being afraid to dream big. So if there's, the more that this channel succeeds, the more that I'm going to be able to do to provide excellent quality content for you guys. Like I've even considered once the channel starts earning enough money to pay a professional editor, that way I can record and post more, more content. I used to post a reaction video every single day, but that was before I was working 40 to 60 hours a week. Um, but you know, I'm just putting it out there that you guys will help me to achieve my dream of making content creation my full-time career. And I would love nothing more than that than to be able to entertain you all for many, many years, possibly even a few decades to come. And uh, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you for all you've done for me. And thank you for giving me the desire to keep on living because I was in an incredibly dark time and it's incredibly liberating to tell my story too and to finally tell you guys that it was because of you that I have been able to persevere so I'm gonna cut this video off now and also if you like this style of video of me just kind of talking about my life or different topics and stuff you know I know it's recorded vertically so it kind of looks like a long short but, and I also understand that this video is going to be like 27 minutes long. i sorry. <laughs> but, anything you guys want to see, I am experimenting with new content styles as well as continuing the reactions and continuing the drum streams. So, I appreciate you all. And I'm going to cut this video off for now. So, I will talk to you all later.